Webinars. It seems like everyone has got one these days, but how do you make one that is worth watching? Want to find out? So do I. So let's figure this out together. It's great to have you. I'm Roger from the localization and translation team here at Hotmart. And you're watching the Hotmart Masters newscast, where we take an in-depth look at what's really happening in the digital product and e-learning world. Here, I'll share all the practical knowledge with you from the latest on what we've been learning during Hotmart Masters, our online free and global event with exclusive talks from the major players in the digital market. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the strategies, lessons, and secrets from writer, teacher, and speaker, Bruno Gimenez. Before the internet became the next big thing, Bruno used to travel around the country giving classes and lectures. At the time, this was the best way for him to impact hundreds of people per month. Then he decided to explore the digital universe to reach thousands of people with his content. And today, Mr. Gimenez hosts live webinars with audiences of three to 4,000 people. His record was a webinar with 28,000 people. And this was in 2019. That's a lot of people staying home and watching a webinar in 2019. For starters, maybe you're like me and you have no idea what the difference is between the live format on social media and a webinar. Well, our teacher today, Bruno, cleared things up for me by explaining that a webinar has a well-defined structure and a very clear and specific objective of selling something or provoking a special action from your audience. In the live format on social media, the creator turns on the camera and develops the theme without so much commitment to the structure or the transmission. So, did you get the difference there? Webinars, you're organizing, polishing, and getting the machine well-oiled for sales. Maybe not a suit and tie kind of thing, but at least a decent polo shirt type of event. Social media lives? Free and easy. Sweatpants and a hoodie, if you're feeling up to it. Another thing that I've always wondered about this world of webinars is why some are live and others recorded. What is the advantage of a live class? Bruno pointed out that the possibilities of creating the instant authority effect. In live streams, you show your values, your gifts, your potentials, your flaws, your humanity, and your way of dealing with people. In the end, it can make you seem more approachable and, well, human. And all of this can increase conversions. But with so many webinars out there these days, how can you make epic webinars that really stand out? Let's see the tips from Bruno Gimenez. The first step is to choose, test, and master the tool that you're gonna be presenting with. You need to know the live streaming tools like the back of your hand. For example, YouTube. The secret is for you to test everything out before going live. Don't just try to wing it. This way you can avoid mistakes and a lot of those little things that can go wrong during the webinar. The second step Bruno talks about is to build a strong connection with your audience. You need to win the attention of your audience. With so much free content available on the internet, why would people choose to watch your content? One way to win people over is to show that you're with them as a part of a greater cause. Work with organizations that you believe in, such as the protection of animals, specific communities that have been neglected, and greater causes that are specific to your niche market. Let's say you have a tech-driven niche. Draw attention to a specific scholarship or program to help young people study IT. The third step to making epic webinars, according to Bruno, is to have good deliverability. That is, to establish efficient channels of contact with your audience before going live. Make sure that they get all of the latest updates about your webinar and the topic via email or Facebook Messenger or maybe WhatsApp list, Telegram groups, or communities on Hotmart Sparkle. If your audience is anything like me, they need something to go ding five minutes before the webinar starts, or they'll never remember, no matter how much they love you. 
Bruno talks about how it's useless to create an amazing project and excellent classes if the audience doesn't remember to actually show up and watch your webinar. Another important part of webinars is the interaction process, which has got to be dynamic and inviting. Bruno Gimenez believes that this is the new TV and that we need to break the status quo of television. He suggests that we do things more lightheartedly, to make jokes with someone who's behind the camera, for example. What do you think of that? Is that a good idea? I don't have anyone behind my camera. And the posture of the webinar presenter shouldn't be too dry and formal. The more natural, the more connection with your viewers you'll have. One of the strategies to generate emotional connection and to reinforce authority is to open the YouTube chat. See what people are saying and respond immediately. You can answer more difficult questions, try to make sense of criticism and good fun, and even make mistakes from time to time. Above all, Bruno recommends that you should be sincere and honest in your webinars. Give your best in each class and generate as much information and make it clear that the ultimate goal is for your audience to benefit with the special content that you're selling. You also need to explain the transformation and bonuses that come with your digital product. Bruno also recommends that it's important to clarify time limitations and to give a sense of urgency. Oh, and don't forget to present the offers and the price conditions. And one last important point to make your webinar successful is the process of warming up generating anticipation and preparing the audience before the webinar takes place. Take the time to engage with your audience and raise their expectations. Bruno recommends creating a series of content before the live stream to prepare the audience and invite more people. He makes an analogy to before a movie. You know those trailers and teasers that are made to draw you in for a minute and then to leave you curious and waiting for more. This is the type of video that piques the interest of the audience. So that's it guys. Are you ready to experiment and get down to business and create epic webinars? This talk was a part of the first edition of Hotmart Masters, our online, global, and free event. Do you want to keep going with your journey of improving your online business? Then sign up for free for the next edition of Hotmart Masters, which will take place from October 19th to the 23rd, 2020. Just click on the link in the description of this video. I want to wish you success in your webinars and until the next episode of Hotmart Masters Newscast, it was great to have you here. See you soon.